Hey everybody, what's going on? So I just wanted to make a video. I was doing a live stream last night and, uh, you know, one of my uh, followers and one of my subscribers sent me this uh, link to an article that scared, I, I don't even know if scared is the right word, but it will for sure scare you, if not make you extremely uh, anxious or nervous, however you want to say it. And the title of this article is Justin Trudeau can lose the next election, but remain prime minister. Here's how. Yeah, buckle up. Okay. So it basically said Justin Trudeau is not resigning. The first par paragraph was essentially Justin Trudeau is not resigning, even though the polls look bad for him. Why not? Well, hubris might be one reason. Perhaps Trudeau one of life's favored few, doesn't believe he can lose. Or perhaps it's the exact opposite. Trudeau may be sticking around because he realized that defeat is likely and doesn't want the next liberal leader to be sullied with an electoral blowout. He's taking one for the team. There is a third possibility. Perhaps Mr. Trudeau knows he can lose the next election and yet still remain prime minister. You might be asking, huh? In our system, the party that gets to form the government is usually the one that wins the most seats in the House of Commons, because the largest party generally has the best chance of getting its measures passed by Parliament and commanding its confidence. The Governor General normally invites its leader to become Prime Minister. However, the day after any election, the Prime Minister is still Prime Minister. Their role is to then to sift through the electoral debris assess the distribution of seats in the House, and advise the Governor-General on whether they can command its confidence. There is, therefore, a world in which the following occurs. The Conservatives finish first in votes and in the House, but capture only a, pl a plur plurality of seats. Trudeau tallies up the seat count and notices that the Liberal and NDP totals combine to outnumber the Conservatives. If he can con secure the support of the NDP, he may still enjoy the confidence of the House. The two parties have shared a legislative coalition since March 2022. Why not keep it going? In this world, then, Trudeau goes to the Governor General and advises her that he has the support of the House and therefore should remain Prime Minister. Bowing to long-standing constitutional convention, the Governor General agrees. Presto, a fourth Trudeau government. So perhaps Trudeau is sticking around because he knows he need only hold the Conservatives to a, plural, a plurality of seats. Now, it did say earlier in the article that he would have to, you know, have enough seats in the House with the NDP combined to stop this from happening. But I've also heard otherwise, that he may not need it. If this, isn't Trudeau's, if this is indeed Trudeau's thinking, it is dangerous. Let me be clear. The above scenario is perfectly constitutional. That's a huge problem. The problem is political. This outcome would, would lock the Conservatives out of power despite winning the election by any normal metric. This would inflame party supporters to decry the results as undemocratic, illegitimate, and rigged. Just because it's within the rules doesn't mean it's democratic. And yes, that's cheating. You lose the election, but you're prime minister anyway, that's cheating. Canadian Conservatives share an informational and uh, ecosystem with the American right, mm, kind of, I guess, in which Donald Trump's stop the steal lies have normalized the delusion that electoral cheating is rampant. Surveys already show that conservative supporters are disproportionately hostile to institutions such as parliament, bureaucracy, judiciary, and mainstream i.e. accurate media. Okay, so this guy's a little bit full of shit. Defending mainstream media is my first red flag, or not my first, but either way, um, I'm not saying this article is not accurate. I just don't know why someone... I know he works for mainstream media, but obviously a lot of mainstream media is bullshit. The 2008 coalition crisis already gave us one instance in which the conservative leadership leveraged widespread ignorance about constitutional norms to... Do, Delegitimate, perfectly valid parliamentary maneuvers. This would be the same dynamic, but on steroids. Let's see here. In the event that the Conservatives win only a plurality of seats, so again, he's, he is saying that if they only win a smaller number, 
AK, I think that means whether he gets majority or not, the response, the, then the responsible course will be for the prime minister to resign with good grace. Any other result risks thrusting Canada into MAGA-style polarization between anti-system authoritarianism and legal de democ liberal, sorry, liberal democracy. Let's hope that Mr. Trudeau has the wisdom to act accordingly. I don't think he does. But let's just say it doesn't matter and Pierre Polyev gets 220 seats or whatever it is, which is a vast majority, and then he's still somehow denied being president because he doesn't have the confidence in the House. Even if he only won, you know, 160 seats and still won a minority, that's still insane that they could block this guy from winning. And yes, there will be an outcry. Yes, there will, will be a demand for change. I am not in any way inciting violence or saying that this should happen but if you cannot vote out a government because that's really what a peaceful revolution is right you do it at the ballot box and you vote out a government who is clearly totalitarian you get them out then it's all good then it's all done and we can start to rebuild the country but to say that we can, we can vote him out and you can just say sorry too bad we have the confidence of the house and the governor general says, yeah, I agree with you. Canadians want change, but we're not going to give it to them, even though they voted for it and they won. What do you do if you try to re revolt peacefully through the ballot box and it doesn't work because the powers that be can just overrule you? How do you make change? Again, not suggesting any form of incitement of violence. I'm asking a question. I know you guys know that. I'm just making this very clear for the uh, <laughs> the powers that be uh, from this channel on YouTube. I'm not inciting violence. I'm just asking the question. What do you do at that point? You want the change. You voted for the change. You won the vote and they still won't give it to you? That's insane. And you know damn well if this happens, the liberal supporters will start calling us conspiracy theorists and, oh, you guys are just whiners because you lost. If this happened to them... Only imagine what they would think or do. And, oh my God, help us, these authoritarian right-wingers. But when they're authoritarian and totalitarian, it's fine. You know liberals won't have a damn problem with it if, if Justin Trudeau remains in office. So, you know, I, I just wanted to make this video separately. We did cover this in the live stream last night, but I just had to make another video just to kind of put this out there as a separate topic because I do want to, I did want to read this article and I, I do want your opinions on this. Please let me know what you think in the, in the in the comment section. If you know any more information, hopefully someone <laughs> someone here can like debunk this because this this scares the absolute shit out of me. And it should scare the shit out of anyone who has a YouTube channel or who likes their rights, who likes their freedoms, or who believes in democracy. Even though apparently this is completely legal. But please let me know what you think in the comment section. And if this is the case, we need to start getting together now and make this, just make it be that enough people know about this and we're not going to let this happen. Again, I don't know what we can do about it, but surely if there's enough of us who realize that we can think about something, at least you'll bring it up to Pierre Polyev's attention. I don't know if he knows this. I'm sure he does. I'm sure he, maybe he's not worried about it, but maybe I'm just panicking here, but this, this article really freaked me out and I just wanted to uh, show and read that to you guys. So again, let me know what you think in the comment section. Please don't forget to like and subscribe to this um, channel. It really helps out a lot. And uh, thanks so much for watching and I'll be back shortly.